What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a website that generates a whopping $170,000 a month. Now this was actually back in 2019. So this site is probably making even more than that right now. But even so, that number is pretty impressive. And so we're going to unpack this process because there's a lot of things that are going on. It's, it's a lot more than, than it just meets the eye. And we're going to talk about some kind of affiliate offers they're running, CPA offers and everything like that. So this really ties back into the whole affiliate marketing and CPA marketing and everything like that because it's all, it's all connected, right? And as far as I'm concerned, this is something I've been talking about for a long time is that building a website and like, you know, a really nice website, you know, it's the best source of, you know, free, stable traffic you can pretty much do. Because at the end of the day, yeah, you can go out on Craigslist. You can go out on my channel and, and spam affiliate links or, you know, post affiliate links. You can go on groups and not really add a lot of value. Yeah, sure, you can get free traffic. But if you want a business, you want a very stable form of affiliate commissions, whether it's, you know, you know affiliate products on ClickBank or affiliate CPA, uh, CPA offers on Max Bounty or some other network, what you want to do is you want to build a site. Now, this is a serious site. You don't have to build a big site like this. Obviously, this is a, a pretty extreme example. So, you, you, you know, you could definitely build a smaller site and still make pretty decent money with it. But I want to really dive deep into the site and really show you how it works and why it makes the money. So here's the site. It's called Dollar Sprout and it's all about make, making money, uh, money management, budgeting, credit, banking, investing. And if you actually go into um, these kind of menus, you're going to see sub menus, some more topics, right? You have quick wins, surveys and cashback, freelancing, more income ideas. And then let's say you go into a uh, credit, for instance, you have credit scores, you know, free credit score check, debt to income calculator. So this, this site is really about money, right? It's about making money. It's about, you know, managing money. It's about budgeting money. It's about getting credit, staying out of debt or, you know, calculating your debt. It's about banking and investing. So it's, it's, it's really structured in a very logical way. And it has to do with pretty much with everything about money. And this is not an accident, right? Uh, a website that has to do with money and kind of, you know, if we're talking about the make money online niche, this is this category here, or make, making um, money management, budgeting, things like that. It's a very, very lucrative niche. It pays, mo it pays money. You make money in this niche. Not all categories, not all topics are monetizable, right? Some are more than others. Some are very little, uh, you know, almost you, you can't really make a lot of money in it. Some are, you know, a lot more monetizable. Something like a website that has to do with money is very monetizable because money, you know, for me to understand how to make money or manage my money or get credit, I'm willing to pay for that information, right? It's like if I tell you how to make, you know, $10,000 a month and I tell you step by step what is working, what is not, you might be interested in paying for that information. And that's why websites such as this are monetizable. And this brings me to the first point is that when you're creating a website, make sure you pick a very nice niche, right? Because you can do anything you want, right? You can have a travel website, you know, relationship dating. You can talk about computers. You can have a, a website about a specific country, a medical, whatever. But, you know, some are going to be more monetizable. Some are going to be less. Picking a niche is very, very important. So that is the first thing you have to do. At the end, they decided to, to go with kind of money. But also, you know, not, not just making money, but also budgeting, credit, banking, investing. And these are all kind of very different topics, but yet they kind of combine them all together because it, they're all, you can make money out of these areas uh, very successfully. And so when you go to this website, they have a lead magnet, right? They want to collect your email so that they can send you some offers or updates on the website, right? Building an email list is very, very important. I talk about that all the time. And so when you have a landing page, right, if you don't want to build a website, you just have a landing page, you know, you want to collect emails, but on a website, naturally, it's, it's a lot easier to collect emails because, you know, I, I, I enter my email now, they have it, they can mark it to me anytime they want without me even ha ha having to remember this website, right? So if I forget this website tomorrow, I, I don't even remember where I visited and they have my email, they could send me the information, they can make money of it. And so this is very important. And so the next thing you have to understand is that you have to create informational content, right? And I'm going to show you why. So what is informational content? Informational content is basically content 
that's not pitching a service or a product, right? They're not selling me anything. They're basically explaining me something. So for instance, 23 easy side hustle apps to make money in your spare time, right? This is, you know, this is informational content. It really, it's kind of like, since they mentioned apps, it's a little bit borderline on commercial content because they're basically, if they said something like ideas, it would be a purely informational content. So for instance, how many bank accounts should I have? This is purely informational content. They're not telling me, go join this bank, go join that bank, go buy this credit card. Whereas if you look at this article, Acorns Review 2020, pros, cons, and how to stack up, this is purely commercial content, right? They're reviewing a, a, a product. They're reviewing a service, right? And so when you are building this website, let's say you wanna go out and build this website, you wanna focus on informational content and some commercial content as well. But most of it should be about informational content. And the reason for that, it's a lot easier to rank this kind of content on Google. And you're basically catching the user at the top of their funnel. Remember, anytime somebody's interacting with information, somebody goes on Google, searches for something, if they're searching for general, like their, their queries are very general, they are, you know, they're at the top of the funnel. Like for instance, how do I, you know, how do, you know, what's the best bank or something like that? Now we're kind of getting into commercial, but let's say I say something like this, um, you know, what's the best way to save money? That's a purely informational query. And if you catch that person at the top, when they don't even know what kind of products or services they need, you, you have a better chance of converting them, right? So this is kind of advanced marketing, right? And so informational content catches people at the top of the funnel when they're just starting the search process. And product reviews and things like that catches them in the middle of the funnel, middle towards the end. This is probably even closer towards the end because they're talking about a specific product. Something like this would be in the middle, right? I don't even know they had apps, right? I know what a side hustle is. I had no idea they have apps, right? So some, somebody who stumbles upon this probably has, has an idea that these apps exist. So this is kind of in the middle of the funnel. So, so it's very, very important to understand. And so there's, on this website, there's, you know, content that basically, you know, there's a mix of informational commercial content here. And also the kind of content they're creating, it's not an accident, right? Basically all, like, let's say you take this topic, right? 23 easy side hustle apps to make money in your spare time. People are Googling for this, right? They're not just getting it out of thin air. There's demand for these ideas. People are searching for this, right? And you, you could do that research using a number of ways. There, there are free ways, paid ways, and that's called keyword research. You're basically catching people at the top of the funnel or in the middle of the funnel when they enter search queries into Google. And so all of these titles, people are, you know, they actually research them, right? There's actually search queries here. It's not just random stuff. And so for instance, let's say we go to this uh, site hassle. I have, uh, what is this article? How to make a budget in seven easy steps. And then I have another article, 40 creative ways to make money fast. So let's say we Google, we Google for this phrase, right? So if I go into Google, I copy, I copy and paste this into Google and I type this phrase, right? So I have Google open right here. I type this phrase and let's see if, if they even show up on the first page. So if we scroll down, there they are, 40 creative ways to make money fast. And it looks like they're one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So they're on the front page. And this is a relatively high volume, you know, search query, right? So they're basically, they're getting some decent traffic to this one article, right? Now, if we go down this article, right? And you scroll down, you know, you have different ideas, right? So 40 best ways to make money fast, deliver groceries with Postmates, uh, take paid service with Survey Junkie, make swag box your default search engine, become a Life Points community member, get paid to read email and watch TV with inbox dollars. And so we can kind of go down the list. But what I want to show you real quick is that all of these ideas, right? If you look at the link, this is not a link to postmates.com. This is a special link to an affiliate, right? They're basically getting a commission. So if I happen to go, I mean, it depends on the on the on the actual offer, right? Maybe it's a email submit offer. So if I go on the website, I register. You know, they're gonna get a CPA commission. And so if we scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see inbox dollars. And what is inbox dollars, right? I don't know if that looks familiar, but if you go into Max Bounty and I type inbox dollars, I have inbox dollars, right? And this is there are various offers. This is an app, Android app, email only. And this is a US offer. So let's say we open this offer 
and it's 280 per lead. And, and what it seems to me is basically if you submit an email, you're going to get an email confirmation, 280 per lead, inbox dollars, pays members to read emails, take surveys online, play games, and go shopping. New users also receive $5 just for joining. So the user is going to receive $5, you're going to get 280 and then, you know, if they keep going, you know, you're going to make more money, right? If, you know, you, you, you get another one, uh, you're going to get, for every email, you're going to get 280 per lead. And so this is very, very clever. So if I go here and I want to make money with inbox dollars, right? They're going to, you know, this is a CPA offer. I don't know if they have max bounty or anything like that. I don't really know because this is not a max bounty link that I'm seeing. This is some kind of other link. Maybe they actually went on inbox dollars and signed up for their affiliate program. Or, you know, they, they could have signed up for max bounty as well. We don't really know. But the point being is that every single one of these uh, things on the list, every single item, all 40 of them, or I would guess the majority of them, right? Or almost all of them, if not all of them, are basically links to offers, right? And this could be a CPA offer, you know, or it could be a max bounty, like a regular ClickBank type offer where you're getting paid for a sale, or, you know, a CPA offer where you're getting paid for some action, right? And so if we scroll down, right, all of these are affiliate links. And obviously, you know, this is not, they didn't, it's not by accident that, they're cho that they've chosen these 40 items, right? It's definitely not by accident because it's basically, you know, it, it links to an offer, right? It's, it's basically, it's an offer that they're monetizing, right? And so that is one really nice way of monetizing. And remember what I told you before is that, you're going to have, you know, you can't really take this offer and, you know, put, create, you know, direct link on Facebook. It's just not going to work. Well, first of all, they don't like, they don't like social. But okay, if you ignore that, you know, it, you know, Facebook is never going to approve this. Let's be honest with you. Let's be honest here. But if you create a website and you're actually delivering value and you actually create an article that people are Googling for, and let's say I want to, you know, I want to, what am I Googling for? Creative ways to make money. I go into Google. I type that phrase, I stumble here, and then every single link is an affiliate link, right? Here's another article, how to make a budget in seven easy steps. And so we, if we scroll down, right, this is an internal link, this is their own link, this is their own link, and if we scroll down, tracking expenses, personal capital, right? This is an affiliate link. This is, again, a link to the offer, right? And so this is kind of the beauty of creating a site. It's like, it's like a fortress, right? They could put ads here. I'm not seeing any ads here, but you can monetize the site using something like AdSense or a different kind of ad network. I'm not seeing any of that. But they're being very, very clever with it, right? They're not saying like personal capital review. They can do that. Maybe they even have an article. They're basically starting with information, tar information, uh, informational content, right? And I really like informational content. I run a bunch of sites and I always start with informational content. How to make a budget. Now, unfortunately, you're not gonna, it's going to be fairly hard to rank for something like that because if I type how to make a budget, let's see, do they even, how to make a budget, okay? And if we type that, let's see, are they on the front page? They might not even be on the front. Oh, every dollar? No, that's not them. So it looks like they're not on the front page. Let's go up. So this is a very, you know, I could just tell by looking at the phrase that this is a very, very competitive um, phrase, key phrase because... It's an informational term, but there's, you know, there's money to be made because of these, all these affiliate offers. So if I, let's try the second page. Maybe they're on the second page. Okay, there they are. They're on the second page. So maybe for me, they're on the second page. Maybe for you, they could be on the first page, right? Google, Google the, you know, the results matter where you are in the world, you know, depending on your search history, everything matters. And so this could, they could be at the end of the first page, right? And this is a very nice search term because they're getting a lot of traffic, right? And I have another page here. Easy side hustle apps to make money in your spare time. And let's go scroll down. Swagbox, right? This looks like this looks like a CPA offer to me, right? It looks like a CPA offer, Swagbox. Let's go into Max Bounty. I haven't seen this before. But it's like I could just tell just by looking at it. Let's see, Swagbox. Let's see if Max Bounty has it. And it has it, right? Swagbox surveys, multi-geo. You know, it's, not, it's like... When you were in, with CPA for a long time, you could just tell just by looking at, at the landing page that this is a CPA offer, right? And what are they paying? They're paying, let's, let's go back and open this offer. There are two offers. Uh, they're paying 120 per lead, multi-geo surveys. And what is this actually? It's a rewards program. 
uh, take surveys, watch videos. So if we go back, let's open this surveys. Let's see, let's see what kind of offer it is. And it is, it is swag, a swag box surveys, multi-geo. And so mobile lead with email confirmation, you get $1.20 per lead, desktop lead with email confirmation, 360 per lead, okay? And so depending on the traffic, I'm actually on a desktop right now, I'm not on my phone, obviously. And so if I sign up, they're gonna get 360 per lead, and this is only uh, this is only actually the tier one countries: Australia, Canada, Ireland, UK, uh, US. Doesn't even include the UK. And so I'm not in one of those countries right now. So if I sign up, they're not gonna get. And I'm probably not even gonna be shown the page. And so, but if you are and you sign up, you're gonna get because I would have to venture that the majority of their traffic is US based. Okay, I could just know already because this kind of content, I would say like maybe 60, 70 percent. Maybe even like, you know, 55, more than half is US based 100%. And so somebody sees that they click on it, they sign up and they get a CPA bounty. And once again, we have inbox dollars. We scroll down, my points. What is this? This is another CPA offer, right? My points. We go into max bounty. I think I've seen that before. Let's double check my points. There you go. Earn points for service, right? They're not. You know, they're not going out and basically just shoving that offer uh, down your throat, right? They're actually providing value, right? They're actually, they're, they're taking these offers and kind of packaging them in, in a list, right? And this is a really nice idea, okay? And later on in the video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you some tricks so that you can create a site such as this one and make the money they're making without, you know, doing all this crazy, you know, amount of work that they have done. Basically, like a subsite of this main site, a subsection of the site. We have Pine Coin, Coin Research, right? And this is all CPA offers, right? You, this is not an affiliate. This is not a ClickBank offer where you need to buy an info product or a physical product. And this is how you promote. promote. This is a really nice kind of sleek way of promoting CPA offers because it's natural, right? It's natural. It's like I'm, I'm, ser I'm searching for site hustle apps. And, you know, there you are. I wanted their slide joint, an Android side hustle app that lets you make money by renting out your lock screen. Wow. Slide joint. And this is, okay, this is not linked to their, um, this is not an affiliate offer, okay? Postmates. Again, it's an affiliate offer. Airbnb. We know Airbnb. Rover. It's an affiliate link. Helps pet owners find qualified pets. To so there's some kind of affiliate offers. There's some CPA offers, right? And so this is why I really like it because this is a solid way of making it and they're getting organic traffic and they are, you know, nobody's going to ban them, right? Google is not going to ban them. Facebook is not banning them because they're not getting Facebook traffic. But if they want it, they can go out and basically, uh, you know, just advertise this page on Facebook. You know, may maybe not this page. There's a lot of kind of affiliate links, maybe some other page with no affiliate links or one or two. And then people are going to basically trickle down to some of the other pages. And so that's kind of, what, that's what they're doing, right? Let's see what else. Curious about C, credit union versus bank. Okay, let's open this one. This is a, an informational uh, piece of content because they're not naming kind of the names of the banks, right? This is a generic. Anytime you have something very general, generic, it's a piece of informational content. And so they're comparing two types of, of financial institutions. Me personally, I've never had an account at, at a credit union. So I don't even know like what's the difference, but you know, I always had bank accounts. And so we can scroll down and look at this. Uh, grab our free account information. This is actually their own link. And if we scroll down, higher interest rates. Okay, that, that's, that's also theirs. Okay, so it looks like there's no, let's see, there's no, there's no really affiliate offers, right? There's no affiliate offers. But if I go to something like this, Acorn Review, right? They, they must have an affiliate offer on this link because they're basically they're basically talking about an app, right? So if I go here, there you go. It's an affiliate link, right? So every time I click and I sign up or whatever this Acorns is, I have no idea. Uh, there, recently, the company added retirement account, debit card account, and a $10, $10 sign up bonus. So if I go in here, I basically sign up and I'm going to be paid the commission. Do I know what, what the affiliate, uh, pro, what kind of affiliate program they're running? You go, you go on the site, you go to the bottom, and, and you should see it in the header. It should have something like an affiliate offer. If not, then it's probably run by some other company, maybe like, like something like Max Bounty or something like that. 
And so that is kind of how you do it, right? This is why I like, and this is only affiliate marketing and CPA. They may be even running ads. They may be even running sponsored posts. They may even create their own information product. I haven't really dug that deep into the site. All I wanted to do was kind of talk about how the CPA marketing, how it ties back to CPA marketing, right? And so if you want to do a site like this, you have to understand this is a big site, right? What I would recommend is you basically pick one category, right? You don't need like, you don't need to talk about, you know, what is the six things, right? Just pick make money or money management or budgeting, right? What I really like is this, is this quick wins, right? All of this is nice. All of this is nice, right? You just have to take something like this and then you can basically, you know, how to make money fast, right? And then when you're writing content, you do not want to be doing something like how to make a budget, right? So, because that's going to be very competitive, right? Uh, you want to try something like how to make a budget in Google Sheets, right? And so, for instance, let's say uh, we have, so what, what was that article with a lot of these CPA offers? Okay, Acorns Review, we're going to close that. So, this one, right? How to, uh, how to make a budget. This is the article with CPA, lots of CPA offers. Creative ways to make money fast, right? And this, this is always going to be monetizable. There's always going to be offers about making money fast. There's always going to be ways of making money fast. So you're always going to monetize it. The problem is it's going to be hard to rank for this kind of content in the beginning when your site is new, when Google doesn't trust it yet. And so what you have to do is you have to put it into Google. And so look at this. Creative ways to make money fast online, as a kid, today, at home, UK, as a teenager, Fast and easy, GTA, okay, that's something else. As a teenager, right? As a teenager, there you go, 20 ways to make money. This is this key phrase is, uh, is gonna be less competitive than the main one, right? Creative ways to make money fast as a teenager is gonna be less competitive than creative ways to make money fast because this is a long tail phrase. It's more specific. There's, uh, you know, le less search volume, but also less competition. So here's another one, how to make money as a teenager without a job. You can do that. That's another alternative, right? They're kind of similar, right? Uh, how, to make money how to make money as a teenager without a job online. That's even more specific. And so what you want to do is if you want to go down this path, you don't have to. But if you want to, you know I'm a big fan of it because it's a very legit pick a niche, right? You can do make money online. Make money online is a great one. You can do something else. Go through some of the offers and see where most of the offers are, right? Obviously, you know, this my points, uh, this is gonna be, you know, this make money online kind of niche, right? Uh, there's a lot of other different niches I talked about in some of the other videos, but you wanna do make money online, you're gonna always fit, m make money, right? And so what you wanna do is you wanna be basically pick whatever they're saying, uh, one of their categories, right? Make money fast, get free money, money making apps, and basically create a site around this specific content. And when you create a site about something very specific, you have a higher chance of beating out a more general site. So this site can probably outrank something like CNN or New York Times because it's all about money. Google, Google, really, Google works by relevancy. Okay, New York Times, they talk about everything under the sun. But if you just talk about a certain topic, you're going to outrank them. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but with time, even though your site is newer, it has less trust, it has less links, it's going to outrank it. But if you make an even more specific site, right, don't go too specific. But what you want to do is you want to focus on a topic, right? You'll have to create content, obviously. And you'll have to create, you know, 20, 25 pieces of content. You'll have to let it age. It's going to take some time. This is free, free traffic. It doesn't happen overnight, right? You can basically read their uh, story, right? If you go to the site called Breaking the 1%, you can read that it basically took him a long time, right? They, they start out and you see this kind of this crazy growth, right? This kind of this hockey stick effect, that's what it's called, where it just, just goes up like this. And it, it didn't happen, you know, it didn't really happen, you know, in the beginning they had almost nothing, but they stuck with it and this is the result. Now, if you have a smaller site with, you know, uh, less articles, you, this site has a ton of content, right? It, Google is going to, you know, figure out what your site is about and it's going to rank it a lot faster. And that is kind of the way you do it. And this, this is a really nice case study. And then when you have a site about making money, you can create your own informational product, you can create your own course, you can promote other offers, you know, max bounty offers come and go, no problem, you know, they send you an email, this offer is ending, no problem, you will, we swap it out for a different offer, right? Very, very easy. We're not chasing offers, we're chasing topics, we're ch chasing interest. 
That's the biggest difference. And that is how you do it, right? I definitely recommend you to visit the site Dollar Sprout to learn how it works. It's a successful site, so if it works, you know, if it works for them, it's good enough for me. It should be good enough for you as well. And you should check out Breaking the 1% because this is kind of their, uh, you know, site that talks about their other sites, right? So they're not going to have this article on Dollar Sprout because it's not really what the site is about. And so they created another site that basically talks about their story, right? You know, what they're like, you know, what was their motivation, all of this. So you can read all about it. I recommend it. And so there's a lot of sites like this out on the internet, right? Tons of sites. And it's a really, really solid way, in my opinion, to promote these offers because, you know, it's tricky to go on Facebook. It's tricky to do Bing ads for them. You can. You can, absolutely. It's very, very tricky. But this, for me, is very, it's a very solid way because somebody is searching for uh, easy ways to make money. And you say, well, here's a way, you know, join Postmates, become a courier, take paid surveys with Survey Junkie. Okay, there you go. Uh, you've searched for it and th this is what you get, right? So for me, it's a legit way of kind of going about it. All right, guys. So this is kind of what I wanted to talk about, right? Just explain you some creative ways of promoting affiliate and CPA offers because there's so many ways of promoting them. I just wanted to show you a real life example of a site that probably is making over $200,000 per month in revenue. And so you can read all about it, visit the site, visit their other site, and you can learn as much as you can. All right, guys, so that is all I wanted to share for, for, uh, with you for today. If you enjoyed this video, video you've gotten some value, uh, you really like the content, definitely smash that like button. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. I'm going to take a look and see if I can help out. And if you want to see other videos such as this one, you know, ways of promoting different offers, basically ways of making money online, you know, CPA, affiliate marketing, uh, all kinds of interesting things, definitely subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you, you get notified when a new video pops. And that's all I wanted to share with you for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.